just finished putting in my rollers. It is 10 and I have to leave at 11. The rollers that I'm using are from T3. This is the little thing it comes with. I think they're called like the T3 voluminous velour rollers or something like that. I got them a couple years ago around the holidays, actually for a video. And um, I've, I've loved them ever since. They're the only rollers I've ever used, the only rollers I will ever use. They're perfect. Um, but the point of today's video is not the rollers. The point of today's video is to review the new makeup I bought from Sephora. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should, I picked up all new makeup and all clean makeup, like Sephora certified clean, you know what I mean? Um, I just felt like in other areas of my life, I've been being a lot cleaner um, and like using cleaner products like food and, and stuff like that. And, and we do like clean soap and clean, like try to get like the least amount of toxins in a lot of our products. Um, so I was like, you know what? I should probably start switching over my makeup or at least testing it out. Um, I'm not sure, like, I feel like it would be really important to have, like, your makeup be clean because it's literally going on your skin and, like, soaking into your skin and, like, patting it into your skin. But also you do wash it off, but it's still on there all day. But anyways, um, yeah, so I ordered all that and I posted about it on Instagram and it all came. I've worn some of it like a couple no i've worn some of it once i haven't tried all of it together yet but this is one of the things i bought too i don't know if these are clean but um i really love the first aid beauty facial radiance pads it's just a little exfoliating pad and it just really does wonders for my skin so anyways um yeah so i'm gonna do my makeup real quick today and just figured out vlog i guess just casual vlogging i feel like i kind of I kind of took a break from vlogging last year and I honestly thought I was going to be done for good. I honestly thought I'd be like, I thought like, I don't need to vlog anymore, but I miss it. <laughs> so I'm back and I don't know. I just like, I'm not going to feel guilty about taking that break because I feel like I needed to take a break to be able to address other things and work on other things. And now I'm here and vlogging and like, I really want to be here you know so i'm just excited so i thought this would be a fun little vlog to kick off um 2022 videos and vlogs and that's something else i wanted to ask you guys about but i'll wait till i start my makeup outfit today <laughs> is this bodysuit from express my jeans are levi 501s okay let's go do my makeup Okay, first I gotta make our bed. Okay, so the new makeup that I got is I got the Liss Serum Foundation. I heard amazing things about this. I watched a few reviews before I ordered everything, so I really wanted to try this foundation. I also picked up the Say Light Tan and Moisturizer. The concealer, I got the Kosas Concealer in the shade 04N. For powder, I'm just gonna still use my Laura Mercier powder and my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I need to switch one over to a cleaner one, but I like those for now. For blush, I got the Tower 28 Cream Blush. Um, I already have a bronzer that I like for now that I wanna use up. It's the Airbrush Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's ginormous, so I wanted to use that. Um, I got a mascara. I got the Wander Beauty Mascara. Um, and I loved the packaging of this. I've used this and I love it. What else did I get? Um, is that it? And then I got those little pads. I think that might be everything. I wanted to get enough for like a full face. So that's, that's, yeah, basically everything. So I'm going to start with my brows. These aren't, this also is not a clean product, but I kind of figure like, I'm not really, I'm just kind of putting this on my brow hair, so I figure it's fine. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to use the Say Slip Tint. But 
but I honestly have not done my makeup. I think I've put makeup on once this year. So I'm excited to like get back to feeling like myself, feel glam. I was looking at old pictures yesterday and maybe some of you can relate to this, but I was looking at older pictures and like I always had makeup on like from like 2018, 2019. Um, I always had like really pretty makeup on and like I was just looking at random pictures of me and Brett and like we were just like having fun and stuff and obviously it was before everything happened like in the world and the pandemic and stuff and it just made me feel like you know what like I should like start putting makeup on like try to do it more often and I should like start getting ready more often like I don't especially right now in Michigan it is so cold but it's like okay I don't need to wear my sweatshirt everywhere like I can get ready I have like warm cute coats and stuff like it just made me realize like you know what I should start getting ready for me because it, it I feel better when I get ready you know so I feel like we all kind of hit that point at different times but I'm there now I'm like okay I'm ready to start feeling like myself I'm ready to get ready just you know I want to feel like me again and like just enjoy my life my word for the year is fun do you guys pick a word for the year? My mom always made us pick a word for the year, so now it's just kind of a habit that we all do together. But my word is fun. My word last year was live. I could still could still use a little bit of that word, you know? Just really live, just have fun. So that's my word. What's your word for the year? So with that, I wanted to like, you know, this is that list foundation, by the way. I wanted to just like have more fun with everything like have more fun when I'm working have more fun when we're like you know just like doing whatever like just have more fun like intentionally just have more fun and just kind of be present and like not being somewhere else you know like I feel like if I'm present I will just naturally have more fun because I'll be like in the moment and just you know okay this is very dewy which is beautiful but I was not expecting that like look how dewy oh my goodness I'm bringing it down my neck because it's a touch dark and I was planning on self tanning but I haven't gotten around to it yet oh my God, this is so dewy I want like a different sponge that doesn't have it on it to help I'm gonna soak it in there we go oh my god it is literally the most dewiest foundation I've ever <laughs> but I have a really dry skin so that's perfect for me it honestly feels really good I love that it's that dewy and full coverage I think you saw I used a lot I used I think two pumps but I think you could make this medium to full coverage but I like like I said a full coverage so you okay boa okay gosh that is just beautiful I really like that and I really like the color I got TG1 for the color I think it stands for tan golden one there was a lot of color options too which was nice I'm gonna put my blush on right now while I have this really cream creamy um, base so I'm gonna pick up some blush on this brush and kind of work it into my skin so it's not going on so I never use cream blushes, but I really wanted to try one out. Wow, this is gorgeous. And it's not moving that foundation at all, but I think it really helps to put it on your hand first and just kind of warm it up. That's a beautiful color. It's called Power Hour, and I really wanted this one because it just felt like it would look like like um, a little sun-kissed. Okay, the Kosas Concealer. I got this in the shade 4N. I normally wouldn't put blush on right then, but I just wanted it to really blend in with my creamy products. And I think I'm going to set it with a powder blush. The thing I realized I don't have is eyeshadow. I literally threw out all of my eyeshadow because they were all old. And I was thinking last night, I was literally laying in bed and I was like, oh my god, I don't have any eyeshadow. I, have, I don't have one. So I need to get some. But I typically just use bronzer in my eyes, but still... <laughs> I was like, how did I not think of that? I gotta fix this. Okay. I'm really liking this so far. Like, it feels really dewy and beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna set it 
with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. With all this dewiness, but I do want it to last. And when products are so creamy like that, like I just like to set it. And for the powder all over, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury. I like to be light with this powder. It gives a really beautiful finish, but I like to just kind of lightly dust it. I feel like that works best because I think it's supposed to be kind of like a little bit of a translucent powder. And I think when I pack it on, it's like not the perfect color, but if I just lightly use it like a translucent, it really blends good. So I just have a light hand with it and I use it this Morphe M500. Um, brush and also wipe away the okay I love this like it kept some of that dewiness but it feels set I love it okay I was gonna get a setting pal or setting spray but I didn't I had it in my cart but I put it back okay let's do some bronzer this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Well, so far I love literally everything. Like, I feel like this, my makeup hasn't looked this good in a long time. <laughs> it really hasn't. This bronzer is really beautiful. But I feel like you really need, like, the perfect brush for it. Here we go. Like a soft brush. Highlighter. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronze and Glow Duo. I just like a highlighter. I feel like a highlighter is what makes your makeup look finished. Okay, and then I need something in my eyes. So I'm gonna use just that same bronzer and use this. It's a beautiful color to use on the eyes. Like when you really pack it on. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Intense. And mix them. Blush fades. I think all blush fades. So I like to put a lot on. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of this copper from Laura Mercier on my bottom lash line. And then the other thing I didn't get clean is lip products. Because I have so many that I love that I have backups of because I love them so much. So I just want to use those first before I switch over to something clean. Like I don't want to waste my makeup, you know what I mean? And I love my nude lips. Like, you can't beat it. So that might be a hard switch for me, but. But I feel like lips is probably one of the most important because you literally like ingest it. <laughs> like you literally swallow, especially lip gloss, like you literally swallow it all the time, so. Okay, I like to focus this mascara on the root. Okay, and then for my lips. I have the Morphe Lip Liner in Sweet Tea. This is my favorite lip liner. I always use this or Morphe Honeymoon. Sweet Tea's a little darker. Okay, and then my go-to nude lipstick is Skinny Dippin' from Too Faced. It's literally the best nude. I also wish I had a brow gel and I don't have that. I need to get a brow gel too. Okay, what I am is gonna comb through my brows. Okay, let's take out the rollers and get the whole finished look. You know what, I forgot. The other clean product I bought is deodorant. I really like it too. It's the Mason Louis Marie Bois de Ballancourt. Is that how you say it? Number four. Um, it's aluminum free. There is per perfume in it. I didn't think about that. There is perfume in it. Shoot. It smells so good though. It just feels so good to put makeup on. You know, there's no better feeling as like a makeup lover. Okay, let's get these out. Hopefully these worked. My hair, I slept, I slept with wet hair last night and I slept with it in braids. So my hair was like, so, um, like, 
what's that called like not wavy but like crimped it was so crimped wow this really is working really great look at those beautiful i almost did not have hairspray I really like this so yeah so today i'm heading to work at a coffee shop with my assistant mackenzie i'm so excited to see her because i have her christmas present and i haven't seen her since way before christmas so we have so much to catch up on i want to give her her present it's gonna be super fun and then we're uh, basically planning out this year wow i love how that turned out and i have some triple sec triple sec is a um Called like a texturizer spray, but it gives some hold to the hair from dry bar. Oh my god, it's the best smelling thing you should you need to get it. I don't know if it's clean, but you need to get it. It's progress, right? <laughs> okay, oh my god, I feel great. I just feel a bit like myself. Those rollers worked great. I'm not gonna brush it out because I want it, it will fall, it will fall so much. Like at the end of the day, I'll probably have straight hair, but. Um, I'm not going to brush it to protect the longevity of it for as long as possible. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm wrapping the gift that I got for my assistant, and I wanted to show you guys because it's really cute. Um, when we were in Florida, we went to Tampa, and we went to this store called Oxford Exchange, and this is where I got everything for her. And it's so cute. So I got her a Colleen Hoover book. I hope she hasn't read this one she's a big reader um but either way i i will like let her get whatever book she wants but i thought this one was pretty and then this notepad she's always using a notepad so i got her this one i thought it was funny and then these beautiful pillar candles aren't those stunning like a beautiful color i'm just putting it in this box and then the main part of the gift are these beautiful coasters aren't these so cool they're like a natural like woven coaster so cool so i got her two of those i think she's really gonna like it so i'm gonna wrap this up and then head out to go this is the bag i'm bringing i had um like a work bag a really beautiful like maroon work bag and it broke so i'm really sad about it but it just made me like thankful that i have like just a reliable bag i've had this bag since 2016 i think so i love it it's just a staple i know it's kind of like chewy now but, but i still like it so i forgot i also got her dog um some balls because her dog is really cute anyways Everything I'm bringing, I'm bringing my 2022 planner. I got this at Staples. It's, um, the brand is Blue Sky. I linked down my Amazon storefront. So I'm bringing my planner. I'm bringing a notebook. I got this off Amazon. It's from Bando. It's a cute little notebook. I like a spiral notebook. I'm bringing my laptop, of course, charger. I have this cute little pencil case I got from Staples and it's actually been really handy. So I always need like a pen or something so I got some cute little transparent sticky notes and all my pens and highlighters and stuff. It's really handy when we're having like meetings, you know. I have my laptop charger, I have my keys, phone. That's everything. Put these in there. Phone. My wallet. It's cute. Alex got me this for Christmas. It's a little fanny pack from Lululemon, so I've been using that as my purse. I'm not gonna bring it today. Okay, glasses. Okay, let's go. cold where can i put this i can't put it anywhere it's freezing <laughs> but i wanted to update i didn't bring makeup with me which i usually do but i haven't worn makeup in so long 
and I wore I was wearing glasses while we were working so I have glasses lines and my lipsticks not touched up but I wanted to update the makeup it feels pretty good I definitely I mean it's what time is it four it's four o'clock and I do my makeup at what ten so it looks decent it definitely looks like it's time for a touch-up like I don't know if me and Brett are gonna do anything tonight but if we do I definitely would touch it up like I would touch up around my nose touch up that obviously in the lips I feel like if my lips were touched up it would look a lot better I'm just trying to picture it so yeah I feel like the makeup lasted great my hair I told you my hair would fall but I like when it falls it just looks like a blowout type of vibe you know but anyways um, makeup feels comfortable and everything just my lips did not last and I can't believe I didn't bring anything I always bring something for my lips but I have to restock my like purse you know but we got so much done I'm launching a new website um, my website really needed to be like revamped with all my coaching stuff and just everything so there's I just have so much more like offers and and content and products and so I have just so much more <laughs> um, like for you all now and um, I really wanted my website to be like the one-stop shop for everything so my assistant has been working on updo it updating my website and um, just totally overhauling it. it's a totally new platform and it's so beautiful so we're going over that today and it's just gonna be a lot easier for you guys to do coaching to get free resources to catch up with me um, it's just really a place for you it feels almost like a membership site. it's really cool so I cannot wait for that to launch God, there's kids running around that will probably launch sometime in February but oh my gosh it's so cold in here it's 22 degrees outside right now it's freezing so I'm gonna head home and um, see what we're gonna do for the rest of the night if we make dinner or something I'll share that um, but also on the way here I found a really good song and I want to listen to it when I'm driving home it's so good um, I okay so I shared the other day <laughs> on, on Instagram stories that when I like need to wake up and feel happy I listen to the Hitch soundtrack like Hitch the movie with Will Smith listen to the soundtrack when you're getting ready it's the best the all the John Legend songs like don't you worry about a thing <laughs> it's so good that's the best soundtrack to feel good too so anyways I've been kind of on like a good good vibes music kick and I found this playlist where'd it go I found this playlist I think it's called good vibes yes so anyways the good vibes playlist on Spotify is really good um, but there's this song by Andy Grammer called joy and it's really good like it's seriously the best song I've ever heard it made me cry <laughs> I, I listened to it on the way here and I literally was like oh my god it's like it just is good listen to it joy by Andy Grammer I always feel like Andy Grammer songs like spark a spark a chord in me um so anyways it's a really good song and I just feel like we all need more joy we all need some joy so just wanted to spread the joy and share more joy so anyways I'm gonna listen to this song drive home <sighs> a great night it's Friday night when I'm filming this it's Friday night so me and Brett need to do something fun okay I'm back home and Brett and I decided we're gonna go grab a quick dinner we're gonna get core life do you guys have that I think it's like a little chain everywhere but I'm gonna touch up my makeup there we go so I just wanted to show you like how I would touch this up. So yeah, I want to like get rid of the little marks from my glasses that I got. I hate how that happens. I'm like new to wearing glasses. I got glasses in like 2019, I think it was. But um, does anybody have any tips to not get those marks when you like? There's nothing. There's nothing you can do. Makeup, touch up, and then I run a brush through my hair. I told you these curls would fall, or like the the rollers, they definitely fall. But that's just my hair type and my extension hair type as well. 
it's just straighter. Oh my god, my hair is so staticky. It's so dry here in Michigan. Like, just pure static. <laughs> But these are those Amazon extensions I showed in a reel, and they're still really nice. They're tape-ins. I got them off Amazon. They're really nice. They're linked in my Amazon storefront. I'm very impressed with them. And I still have that cute bodysuit on, but I just have the sweatshirt on because it's so cold. Like, you need a layer, and then you can take it off when you get inside, but it is just too cold. Okay. I don't know why I got so tan. <laughs> I think I might have put too much powder on, but oh my god, it just made me so much more tan. <laughs> Maybe it's just the lighting. Anyway. Thank you.